So, the thing I want to do now is a lot of you guys have been asking for it. I'm going to do my best, but there's not really that much I could talk about because I'm learning still too. Uh, let me put on a million theme where there's no lyrics. Uh, I have a writhing pain, right? Yeah. Melia Rage. So, if you're new to Melia, this guide hopefully will help you uh, get your feet wet. For lack of a better word. This is a beginner melee guide. I'm going to talk about uh, the character, her buttons, her special moves, um, some basic combos, and her knockdown. Okay. Uh, for the people who are choosing to play her and are really committed to playing her, who are new, um, I salute you. Like... There's not there's nothing else I can say. I salute you. It is not easy to play her. You're going to lose a lot. Um and honestly, like all I can say is if you really enjoy her, hopefully you have fun while you're learning the game because it'll take a little while to refine. And eventually I want to do a more thorough guide. Normally, like old me, I would not do a guide like this so soon, but so many people have been asking just like the same questions that I'm going to try to talk to her talk about her to the best of my ability. So, Milia. So, the way the way we will start this is why do so many people think Milia is bad? And actually, to do this, we need to bring another character out. And since this is the only character I lost to, to in today's event, we will use May. We will use May. Uh, don't don't worry, poor forever. Uh, this will definitely be on YouTube. Don't worry. We'll use me. It's the only like it's the only character I'll see today, so So the way I'm gonna put this is Oh my god the computer knows holy shit <laughs> Okay So the way I'm gonna put this is uh for the past week, you know, on Twitter, if you follow me on Twitter at Lord Knight BB, um I have my DMs open, right? And my DMs open. And my DMs have been filled with, hey, LK, big fan of your Milia and Milia play, love your YouTube. You know, I feel really strong, guilty of strive. My Milia is nice, except for neutral, right? I hear that a lot. So, what type of character is Milia actually? So, she is a, a very fast character and she has a lot of special properties on her moves. So, you have to use her speed and the special properties of her moves to navigate around the opponent's neutral game, knock them down, and run her game plan. When she run, when she knocks him down, she basically, I'm not going to say she wins the game, but all her damage, like a lot of people are like, she does no damage, she does, no, uh, she does no damage, she does no damage. All of her damage comes from knockdown. There's not a lot of situations when she hits you, where she'll get a lot of damage. They, there are a couple of situations, but it's not that common because she's just not a bruiser. Look at her. Mei has a gigantic anchor to keep a ship in the water. And then Milia is just wearing like a coat and some leggings. Like she's wearing like a Canada Goose coat and some Uggs, bro. Right? On some real shit. And the biggest issue that people have is uh, that Milia's buttons are, well, Milia's buttons, while they're good, they're not like amazing at a glance so first let me talk about the buttons so you have 5k this move i think is much better than exert mostly because it hits more forward and not up um it's a very important pressure tool 2k is a low it's your fastest normal at six frames and it has a pretty good reach actually this move okay 5p is an anti-air it's a it's a decent anti-air. I don't think it's as good as Exert, but it has a pretty good use uh, depending on a matchup. Uh, 2P is, uh, interestingly enough, not as fast as 2K. It's a one frame slower, but you can mash it. So uh, that's just a thing. And it's plus on hit. It's plus one on hit. Then we go to flat, uh, Slash. Sorry. So Far Slash. Very big button. In previous versions, this is like close to like a broken poke. Like it's an extremely... For how fast she moves, she shouldn't have a move this big. In this version, it's slower than before. It used to be 7 frames, now it's 10. It has a, a longer total duration, so you're going to be using this a lot less than in previous versions. But still a good move, you just have to use it in the right spots against the right characters, right? Okay. Then, uh, there's 2S. So, uh, 
I feel like this is better and worse in previous versions, so it's not jump cancelable, but she's very small during this, and it's a low, and it's almost as big as Far Slash. It's a little bit slower, but in spots where Far Slash will get hit, 2S will not. And it's very it, That is going to be very important in matchup building. I'm starting to use it more and more the more I play the game. I use it against like Soul, against Kai's instant air dash back. I'm starting to find more places to use this move where I might normally use Far Slash. Then we have this move. Close slash, it's one of her most important moves. Uh, May is mashing, so let's make her not mash. This is one of her most important moves. It's both an anti-air and a pressure tool. It's two hits, both hits are jump cancelable, and it's super, just like all, every move in this game, it's super delay cancelable. It's minus seven, but she has a ton of options off it. It's a really important move for both pressure and neutral. Because it's a proximity normal, so it's a close slash, right? It's a little bit hard to use as an anti-air, but getting good at using this move is extremely important. Then we have her heavy buttons. So we have her 5H. Uh, I think it's a little bit bigger than her 5H, her old 5H, but it's slower because it's not 6 frames. Her old uh, 5H was extremely fast. Also, the attack level is lower. I'll explain what attack level is in another video, but just know that it has less block stun than it used to have, basically. 2H, this is basically a pressure tool and combo tool. You can use this as an anti-air, but it's extremely committal, so I don't recommend it too much. Uh, then you have her 6H, a very important move. Uh, the first hit, uh, let's do this again. The first hit is airborne. Oh, look how pretty she is here, dude. Millie is woke. Okay, so uh, is this safe for YouTube hit? Okay, there you go. This is a better. <laughs> uh, so the first hit is airborne. Um, the first hit is airborne. It's special cancelable, but you can't delay. There's a gap between the first hit. Uh, there's a gap between the first hit and second hit. So you can use this as a frame trap. You can use this as an anti throw. You can use this to catch back dash because it's so active. It's a combo tool. This move does a lot of stuff. It's like I want to say like minus eight, but it has a lot of pushback as well. So it's a really important move. Uh, you'll see me use it quite a bit, and I think you'll see uh, over time uh, high level media players will use this move quite, quite, quite a bit. Then you have her six P. So this is your general anti-air. This is a really good move. It's actually better than uh, the Exert uh, 6P. Uh, it has upper body invincibility above the waist. And for Milia, the, the important thing is that it leads into a hard knockdown. So in mid-screen, you don't get like too much, but in the corner... Oh, well, something... Uh, there you go. Let's try it one more time. Wow. Shout out to me. There you go. In the corner, if I was a little bit closer to the corner, uh, you can get H disc, uh, which is really, really important. Her last command normal is 6K. So this normal, um, I don't want to say it was useless in the open beta, but uh, the only real applications for it was if someone was really respecting you or if you understood the system at a good level. Besides that, uh, there wasn't that much stuff because yeah, it was plus, but like everything beat it and it has less range than old Guilty Gear games. Now, uh, they, I am saying, cause it feels this way, uh, that it's, um, faster and also, uh, let me get the timing. Also, it goes over lows. So it's a plus move that goes over lows, um, and it's fast-ish. Not like super fast, it's not like 20 or anything, but my, my guesstimation is like 24 frames. So it's a really, it's a really good move. It's something you can use uh, again to use to vary your offense. And on top of that too, she has a ton of Gatling. She has 5K, 6K, 2K, 6K, close slash 6K. There's a lot of Gatlings in this move, so it's really, 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 really good. Special moves. Okay. Oh, uh, I didn't talk about her sweep. Okay. So dust. Her dust is not really that much to say. It's a standard dust. Her sweep. Uh, it's not as good as the uh, as the old dust because it doesn't beat lows anymore. Uh, but um, you get a hard knockdown off it. That's one. If you get a big counter hit, uh, let's get the oh, not random. What's wrong with me? Uh, you get the heavy counter hit off it, which means you get a combo, all sorts of combos. And if you do disc, you get uh, extreme mix-up off it because she recovers during the slowdown so she can move around well. So it's a really important move. Special moves. Okay, so... So, you have one... Let's start on the ground, huh? So, one, you have a... Uh, S... So you have tandem top. It's a pretty important move. 
So you have S disc. So point blank, this is really really punishable, but uh, spaced, it's pretty safe. It's a basically a pressure ender that catches mashing. Another important thing about it is it actually goes over low moves, so because she jumps off the air, right? So in some matchups, it's a decently important tool, and it's a. Uh, because she doesn't have pin, they decided to make it so that she flings the disc. Normally, she does the disc in... When I say normally, I mean a Guilty or XX and Exert. She does the disc around her. She strikes a pose and puts the disc around her. Now, she flings it like a projectile, which leads us to H disc, which is just the same thing. This H disc is your goal. This is what you're aiming for. When you get a throw, you get to do disc. When you get a knockdown, you get to do disc. Uh, so not only do you have this, which sets up your mix-ups, but you also um, you can use it as a mine. I think it's pretty hard, and you shouldn't do it uh, if you're just starting Milia. But over time, as you start playing matchups, you'll start to see little places where you can set it like a mine. So just keep that in mind. Uh, it's something I'm experimenting with, and I'm finding pretty good results. So I'm just going to put that out there. Um... We also have her roll. So she doesn't, she used to have a roll that put her super low to the ground. Now she has a slide mirage. It has upper body invincibility. So I think, let's see if this works. I actually don't know. No, it doesn't. Uh, let's pick like, I don't know for May actually. Okay, there you go. See? Okay. So she has a sidestep. As long as the move hits above the waist, she uh, she will invol it and go through. Uh, you can use this for a bunch of things. So you can use it to go through certain projectiles. You can use it to go through certain normals. You can use it to extend pressure because it uh, because it's upper body invisibility. So if you think you're gonna press buttons and something that hits above your waist, you can use that. Um, then we have hair car. So this is a pretty fast low. It puts her airborne. Um, it's pretty minus, but when you're far, it's harder to punish. And if you have meter, you can uh, you can use it for combos and things like that. Uh, there are occasions too where you can use it as a mix-up selection, but it's not at all, not that often. And I don't totally recommend it so much like that anymore. Then we have a uh, bad moon. So this is an instant overhead. Every single hit of this is an overhead. The lowest one, it's kind of hard to see, but hold on. The lowest one hits twice. They're both overhead. Uh, every hit, even from the top of the screen, all the hits are overhead. It's an, it's a move you use. It's an unseeable overhead. When you uh, don't have meter, it's a risk to do it. But occasionally, you kind of have to do it. Uh, when you have meter, you can use it for offense because you can keep it safe. So, pretty important move. Um, what else does she have? Oh, air moves. Uh, so, air moves. She has bad moves, same thing. Uh, so, she has turbo fall. So this is a move that, similarly to the roll, it goes through characters. Right? So this is a way that you can alter your air momentum. So she has two air dashes, but uh, she has two air dashes, but her air dashes don't go very far. So one of the ways she could use to alter her air momentum is to use Turbo Fall. Uh, it has landing recovery. So actually, in open beta one. If it did have landing recovery, it's basically negligible. Uh, in open beta 2, it had a ton of landing recovery, and this version I think is in the middle. So occasionally you should use this to go on the ground to like land when you're high. And if they start waiting for your turbo fall, then you could just land and it'll, you can use it to like alter your landing. The last, the last one is Captain. A extremely interesting move. A very, very, very interesting move. This is I don't want to call it a pin or a replacement, but they kind of want you to use it like that. This is a move where, um, similarly to her air dash, her jump doesn't go very far. Her jump, her dash jump doesn't go far either, but when she hops off this rose, she goes extremely far. So you can use this, it has a hitbox under it too, so... So in this example, right? Oh, uh, shout out to Guilty Air Throws. Shout out to Guilty Air Throws. I can use the rose to stop the person from coming under me. I can also use it to just drastically alter my air momentum. So if I go backwards, I can go forwards. Uh, you can use it to mix up your air options and make it hard for people to anti-air you. Especially because Guilty Gear is a game where uh, anti-airs are normally very strong. So it will get to the point, and as a side note, I will definitely upload some match examples of people doing this. Where people will dead ass, they'll fucking mash your anti-air under you until they see you land on the other side of the screen. Uh, 
is it I mildly want to call it suspect, but I don't blame them because anti airs are really strong and their return is really high. But you can use this to stop people from doing that. Okay. Uh, let's talk about combos real quick. So combo wise, I'm gonna just give you some basics. Uh, so essentially, your bread and butter is legit kick, 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 dust. And when you do, you don't do this many if possible. Try to just confirm really quickly. But confirming into dust gives you H disc, which is your real game plan, right? It's your real game plan. When you hit an anti air, your anti air 6p is another combo that I'll probably recommend. Um, on counter hits, you could do a couple things. You could do hair car. I'm option selecting this, so I'm doing 6p roll and then hair car like back to back. Uh, another one you could do, but I think this one's really hard. I'm basically not going to do it. What is this? Just going to drop. Yeah. So you can tell this one's not. This, this one has a hit at a certain spot, but if you get it, you get to extend. Okay. Um. Actually, combos in this game, like, there's actually a lot of situations where you'll combo. So, here, here's an important one. So, here's the corner ones, right? So, corner combo will be, your goal is to go for buttons in a 2H into S disc. Dash, post slash, 6H, hair car, and break, right? Um, of course, this is assuming that you've done no damage to the wall. If you've done damage to the wall, just remember that that's happened so that you can, like, do whatever. Um, when you hit disc... The combo I'm going to recommend to you, so actually it's character specific what you do, but to make your life easier, uh, I recommend doing this combo for now. Um, I do S, D, W, S, S, D, air dash, D, it's a bad move. Uh, there's actually technically better combos you can do, but again, it's character specific. I don't want to go into it for a beginner uh, thing. Uh, th even this like delay, you might have to like, you should do it right away, by the way. Uh, let me do it like here, just to show it. Okay. Like that. Uh, that's a pretty good basic combo you could do. Uh, if you want to keep up Oki, if you want to keep up Oki, um, I recommend doing a combo into hair car probably. Um, depending on how you hit it and where you hit it, you may or not be you may or may not be able to go into uh, S disc. Um, Anytime you have 50 meter, uh, I recommend, and, and and you're like, let's say doing pressure of some sort, I'd recommend using this super if you have it available. It's for new super, it causes a hard knockdown, you're able to get a uh, follow up offense off it. This one's really important. Um, I'm trying to think of what else is an important combo. Uh, the anti air combo, uh, you can use the same combo I showed you. There's a technically better one you can do, but it, it's kind of hard, so I'm not going to show it. Uh, Yep, so you can do this, same same type of combo. Um that's probably it for combos. Uh let's talk about neutral a little bit and then we'll talk about knockdown. Uh so neutral. So what do you actually do with Milia? Because like I mentioned, uh, a lot of characters have like this uh let's use another character um to show off this neutral. Then I'll talk about block strings, then I'll talk about knockdown. Okay, so I'm gonna use Ram as an example because my DMs was exploded. Uh, oh fuck, I, I forgot to talk about Lost Shaker. Oh well, it'd be like that. Uh, it's not useless though. I'll, I'll, I'll go over it in pressure, it's my fault. I, I only think of it as a pressure tool, not a special move. It's my fault. Don't worry about it. I, I had it in my head, but for pressure, but whatever, it's fine. I'm kind of doing this off, uh, off, the, off the cuff. So a lot of people have been very specifically asking me about how to fight Ram because Ram has really big buttons. So she has like a big far slash. Where Milia does not, right? Milia does not. So how do you actually navigate around this? So you have to consider that Milia has, again, she's very mobile. She's very fast. She's the second best. Uh, traditionally, she's the second fastest running character in the game. Uh, her air dashes are not so fast, but uh, you have to understand too that the a lot of characters with big pokes have a lot of recovery. So you need to alternate like baiting ground pokes and punishing them. Like the thing that will make them stop, assuming that they're like you know focused and playing the game is you punishing them for throwing out these buttons so you need to vary your air options and your ground movement to get them to do the things that you want and then punish 
or if they're waiting for you to wait for them, she's so fast that you can run at them. That's the basic idea of what she does. Once you get a hit, even though the initial hit doesn't do a lot of damage, you get to do a mix-up, and the mix-up is where her damage comes from. When you break the wall, she gets meter, and then she's like super, super powerful. So in, in an example of Ramlethal, so Ramlethal has the jump slash that's huge and the far slash that's huge. So what do we do? So the, the jump slash, Melina has a good 6P in this game. Right, let's, let's do the air dash one, okay? So Melina has a good 6P in this game. For the far slash, it has a lot of recovery. So if we read it with the 6P, or we can air dash over it and punish. Like that. Okay, what about Ramathal's Jump Heavy? Oh, let me, let me get it right. Bruh, I'm not a Ramathal player, clearly. There you go. So, this move is really hard to anti air, right? So, I, it, it's basically designed to be anti airs. Luckily, we're playing a really fast character, so... We can move out of the way... We can meet her air versus air because we know that the ant the move that beats anti airs goes straight down and not horizontally, so we can meet her air versus air. The good news is that when you choose air versus air, Millia has really good buttons. I should talk about this before, but uh, her JK and her JS are both amazing air versus air buttons. Her jump heavy is your general I'm falling button, mostly because it hits behind his cross up. Uh, the only downside is that it doesn't have a lot of hit stun or block stun. Her jump D is her jump dust. I think it has some neutral application, but right now for me, it's honestly mostly combos. And her jump P, I don't actually use very much. Like a lot of spots where you can do jump P because of the angle it hits, you might as well do jump K or JS or JH. So right now, jump P is probably the button I pressed at least in this version, where in previous versions, you'd hit this button a lot. Now, what if the opponent is seeing you move around in the air above them and they're mashing like an anti-air? This is what moves like, uh, this is what moves like uh, Kappel are for. So when when they're waiting for you under them, you have to make them make the choice to be like, oh, are they going to run at you or are they going to sit there and wait? Uh, once you establish that they can't cover both options, then you can cycle your options and land very safely. Cool. Pressure. Let's talk about pressure. Uh, uh, let's make her crouch all guard. Uh, all guard? Okay, all guard. So... Milia traditionally doesn't have good pressure. Uh, like she's not designed to be a pressure character. She's designed to be a knockdown character. But over time, uh, Milia scientists have uh, figured out advanced ways to target, like to just basically like do pressure that is really really scary, despite her not actually usually having good pressure options at a glance. So. The good news for you is if you play Exert, if you've heard me talk about Milia, you've heard me talk about all these things and you can use it. The bad news is you can't do any of this shit in Exert, uh, in Strife. You can't do any of the anything uh, in Strife, none of it. Uh, so you have to do different stuff. Now the good news is though that they did give her a pretty good uh, pressure structure. So. She has a pretty simple frame trap in um, close slash 6H that you can use. She also has the close slash uh, the 6H of uh, 5K and 2K. Her close slash is jump cancelable as well. So like I mentioned, there's a lot of options. Like you go low, you go high, you can go into overhead if you want to take a big risk. Um, and another thing that she has that not a lot of other characters have is that her, unlike uh, unlike most characters, so like let's say. Uh, most characters can match delay this, right? But 2P doesn't have a lot of uh, doesn't have a lot of gatling options. But Milia can delay cancel her 5K. So you can't actually do delay cancel 2K. So you have to go like bump bump. You can't delay. You hear, you hear me trying to press it? But you could do. This one is really really important to help you establish offense by doing this. You will be able to start doing this and eventually start adding like things like dash, close slash, and stuff. Close slash is an extremely important one. 5K is an extremely important one as well. Once you have meter, uh, there's a bunch of stuff she can do with blue RC, septum. Um, I'm still beating, uh, building these type of structures. I'm not going to go really deep in my thoughts of what you should do because 
I'm just doing what I think is right. I can't really tell you really specific reasons, like whether it's actually the best thing or not, like type of thing. We're still working on that. So I'm not going to go into that. Um, okay. So next, last, let's talk about knockdown. So uh, you're going to get knocked down a couple of ways. The main three ways you'll get knocked down will be from, uh, let's start an all guard off real quick. Three ways, three ways you'll get knocked down. You get sweep, this is her best knockdown. Uh, throw, and uh, like, let's say this. Buttons into hair car. So when you're talking about Minya's mix ups, you will have to do something different depending on how you knock them down. And also depending on what character you're playing and also depending on what resources they have available. So this is where a lot of the like research of uh, her is going to um, go into, right? So let's start with sweep. So sweep is a really important one, mostly because um, by doing the sweep into disc instantly, they cannot jump. So they will definitely get mixed up as opposed to throw where they can jump. Yeah. So because of that, I won't actually go into sweep. The sweep mix up is basically pretty simple. You just air dash over them, and it's a cross up. Uh, I did throw my bad. Uh, you just air dash over them, and it's a cross up. Very basic mix up. Um, when you throw, you can air dash, but they can jump. So you have to do something to stop them. So my recommendation, personally, is to do. Um, and let me set the CPU real quick. My recommendation is to do one of two things. It's to either do jump heavy, and I suggest to start here. So why? So my opponent here is doing 6P. So let me try to do the mix up. I actually don't know about Ram, but let me try to do the mix up. Uh, hello? Ram? Okay. Oh, th her, hers doesn't go high enough. Um, let's, let's turn off Ram so I can, uh, who's, who will definitely reach? Uh, Leo will reach. Uh, actually no one else will reach. G Giovanna, and she's cute. Uh, of course, it's going to YouTube, bro. What do you mean? We gotta, we gotta get that ad revenue. You know what I'm saying? Also, I'm trying to help people. Also, we're trying to get that ad, ad revenue. Also, we're trying to help people. Also, we're trying to get the back. Anyway, so, um, the, oh, uh, this is actually an even better one. Uh, so Giovanna, let's not do that. I, I, let's do six P. Let's do six P. Because Giovanna has a special thing. So. Okay. So the issue comes from since the disc doesn't hit them right away, the opponent can technically do something. The disc is not going to hit them, so Millie has to do something. Uh, this also existed in previous Guilty Gears, but uh, in this Guilty Gear, she jumps into the air, right? She jumps into the air. So normally she just does it on the ground. Even though the disc doesn't hit you first, Amelia can hit you. Now she's gonna be falling. So uh, if you use, let's say for example, a jump kick, I'm gonna get hit, right? Uh, I believe there's actually a solution with jump kick where you can option select with throw, but I think a much easier solution and a very good place to start will be to do jump heavy. If you do this, you'll hit below the waist and no one can do any upper body invincible anything. And then if they block it, you'll have frame advantage. Once they start respecting that, then you can start using your left, right. You could do JK to high low. There's a bunch of stuff you can do. The last one will be the this knockdown that will come up every now and then. Um, generally, I will say you probably can't do disc most of the time. You'll have to run up on them or do a safe jump. Uh, but the closer you are to the corner, uh, the better slash safer these uh doing disc is um, any questions this, this is a pretty basic thing there's a lot of stuff that i have to still build out uh like for example when i was playing in a tournament i was trying to do a new setup but i was messing it up and i was like all right you know what let's not do this 